Hopefully he's proud to support the broadcaster of Off The Bar. And proud to support Needham Junior Football. Five Foot of Fury, Ginger with a Bit of Soul, and Harder to Catch than a Dog with a Rogue Sock. And I'm here with... Hamish Phillip, and what an intro, Joe. We're out here at Memorial Park here to see Mosgill take on a phenomenal tech side. Who will win this game? Who knows? Let's go meet the teams. <laughs> uh, my name is Queen, and I play right there. My name is Ryan, I play with the Hi, my name's Zach, I play centre-back. Hi, I'm Corey and I play centre-back. Hi, I'm Akita and I'm a centre-man. My name's Thomas, I play wing. <laughs> my name's Perks and I play striker. My name's Jackson, I play midfield. My name's Lex and I play left wing. My name's Flynn and I play centre-back. My name's Mitchell and I play left back. My name's Matt and I play centre-back. <laughs> My name's Liam and I play goalie. <laughs> Jackie Campbell, goalkeeper. <laughs> Liam Gardner, centre back. Sam Duff, striker. Quinn Coots, right wing. Bob Houston, striker. <laughs> Riley out, Shane with back. Josh Walker, centre back. Blake Carter, right back. Finn Carvel, midfielder. Sam Bonney, centre mid. Josh Jackson, right wing. Logan Ramage, centre back. Oakley's is a name that's become synonymous with bathroom excellence. For over 140 years, the team at Oakley's has provided the highest quality bathroom products, plumbing supplies, intelligent advice, and smart service. This commitment continues with Oakley's new era in showroom innovation. With new products such as the AuraJet, the most advanced and invigorating shower experience ever. Come in and visit the team at 46 Timaru Street. Call us on 466 3600 or visit us online. From rare to the recent, visit the legendary hard to find for your quality secondhand books. With the largest stock in New Zealand and a friendly book loving atmosphere. For good prices, buying or selling, come visit 20 Dowling Street. Please proud to support the broadcaster of Off The Bar and proud to support Needham Junior Football. And we're underway here at Memorial as the Lions, known as Dunedin Tick, travel all the way out here to Mosgill. Two top teams within the leagues going head to head. Yeah, Dunedin Tech this morning, uh, they are top of the table, played 6 1 6 against uh, third, I believe. Yes. So, set to be a thrilling game, and already we can see the passing game of Dunedin Tech here. A couple of heavy tackles from Mosgiel, showing them that they're out there. Ooh, that pass goes astray, and so does that one there. Quick drive forward, cuts inside. Run out of options now. Yes. Tell me how to get that one away. Looking very tidy from Tech this morning. Mm. Oh, unable As to I say that. Pass. Now, I know that some of these lads, well, the team, um, does some coaching with Joe Cole. Uh, Joe Cole, notorious at Dineen Tech, took that team over to Japan last year. And... Uh, as you can see it already in their game, they're passing and movement. Here he goes down to the absolute finest details in his coaching. The 13th grade here playing on the full-sized field. 
Yes. And uh, Memorial Park's first pitch is one of the best pitches in Dunedin. Oh, thanks, easily. Thanks to uh, the Under-21 World Cup and uh, the maintenance and infrastructure that went into this, this club and grounds during mm. that time. As you can tell also by the box goals out there, just that little, yeah. bit, of, little bit extra. A little bit of class. Yeah. A little bit of class for the plainsmen out here. Out for a corner. Yeah, it's a good spot here with the grandstand overlooking the field. Yes. Uh, this, of course, in the summer is a athletics track and uh, shot put nets in the far side. It's a great little spot for all of my girls to be using. Now let's see what this young fella can deliver. He goes near post. The wee flick ons. Mosgill getting 11 people behind the ball there. Yeah, no release out the top. And uh, Tech have pushed completely high as well with their keeper actually sitting at halfway. Now, there is already a substitution. That's probably one of the earliest subs I have seen. What is that, 80 seconds? Well, most likely. But Joe Cole going into his fine detail yet again. Oh, look at that. Oh, almost pierces the gap. Passing here. Look how happy they are to just sit on the ball. And look at the keeper. He's about up halfway already. It's good to see young young footballers willing to be on the ball, pass it around and move. Mosgill will be in for a doozy here today. Oh. And we have our first goal. <laughs> Left for open out, brilliant goal. Great, we played down the sideline there for Tech. What a goal. Brilliant. That takes the score 1-0 early on in the game. Tactical substitution. Pays dividend. Yeah. But there is a reason Mosgill sitting third. They have plenty of wins under their belts. And we've seen just before how they were ready to pierce the gap. Yep. So they will be dangerous on this counter-attack. I'm so happy to pass it around. Oh. A little oh, bit of miscommunication. Drives, drives. A goal. Oh, wow. Just like that. 2 0. Dunedin and Tech. Yeah, a little bit of a slip up there in defence, and Tech have done well to punish that, so. Congratulations, Tech. You can even tell by how high these guys are when they're starting position. Keeper outside his goal box. He's confident in himself here, and it's great to see. Yeah, it is a big field. I, uh, I'm not yes. too worried about him sitting so high, to be honest. It would take yeah. some time to get down there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, great return there. Yeah, yeah tactical stub so early on, but um, with rolling subs, I guess you can take advantage of that. And Might as well. Not be too bothered by how early it is. Oh, to have rolling subs. <laughs> He's done well there. Oh, to have subs for you today, hey? Man? Yeah, I, I know, right? <laughs> My subs, subs are already made up. <laughs> The joys of uh, limited subs in the uh, Premier Division. Thankfully, we can get teams out for the top two teams in the club. Thankfully, we have plenty of good juniors. He's done well here. Can he cut back across? Got keep us off his down. line. Bit of scrambling defence here by Moscow. Oh, good tracking back there, young fella. Yep. Never gave up on that. No. Oh, what a touch. Who's he got in support? Can he release down the right wing? He's going to take it on himself. He's Go on, son. To himself. Shot from distance. Oh, that's taken a touch, hasn't it? Oh, it stayed next to him. Well done, keeper. 
Very calm keeper there. Just yeah. happy to play it out from the feet. It's the counter attack on here. Oh, look at Missing this for a piercing. Great wee ball. Can he cut back across? Straight through the middle there. Oh, finish. How many touches did he need? He's doing a classic Joe. Going to dribble it into the goal. <laughs> Has to walk it across the line. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. Right? <laughs> Got to go through. Oh, he's Here, like, we, go. Here we go. Look at him go. The tracking. Pressure's on. Oh, what a beautifully timed tackle. Yeah, a bit unfortunate for the Moscow player there. He's done a great run. Moscow pushing just that little bit further up the field now. And Tick, happy to just continue to play out. Oh, that must be tight. We keep going. He's in on goal. Can he finish? He's got left foot. Over the keeper. It's in. Unlucky. Three no. Tick putting on a clinic. Yeah, it has been very clinical so far. Great passing. They're just so happy to pass it and not hold the ball too hold the ball too long. This is why it's called the beautiful game. Question is, can Tick keep this up for the full game? There's a lot of running out there. Can't see this lasting into the second half too well. No. And Moscow have shown that they can be dangerous on that breakaway. That striker. Here come Tick again though. Relentless on attack. Oh, the cut back. Is it Ronaldo? No. It's inside the box. Well, they're lining up. And he pushes it wide. Now, you had a wee run-in with uh, Dineen Tech throughout the weekend. Two games against them there, Joe. Yeah, yeah. Two games and a uh, couple of results that I won't care to remember. <laughs> but um, certainly the way we played was something to be remembered. Yes. And, uh, that Monday game in the Kate Shepherd Cup. It's probably my favourite game that I've ever been involved with. Yeah, so. fantastic game for Rosen. Um, really stuck it to them and made it pretty hard for ourselves, but at the well, same token, there was our mental strength was there and we just yeah. did not give up. And uh, as you said, we, we took it to them. We, uh, we wanted it and it took a screamer from them to, uh, to win the game. Yeah. And we wish them the best of luck in the next round of the Kate Shepard Cup. Yeah, um, hats off to Shani. Oh, what it's a, a goal. beautiful shot. I mean, we had Tessa Nickel in goal, yeah, um, and unfortunately. And unfortunately. And she's still got a hand to it, so, yeah, you know. I, God only knows how. Yeah. Like, I, I swear I would never be able to jump for that a million times in my life. <laughs> oh, intercept. Here we go. Keep as well off his line, though. He's got to clean this up. Nudges it up the field. Benefit of being so high up from the keeper. Mm -hmm. But, what? A, yes, what a great game that was. And also... Uh, the University of Otago uh, progressing through with a 3-2 victory over Queenstown. Uh, yeah, is that a bit of an upset? Or oh, well, last time out, they... They're fairly tight, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they, they lost 6-1. I, I would say that uh, Queenstown were a little bit of the underdogs in the sense of that they were travelling, so they never have, they tend to never have their strongest team when travelling. Yeah, bit of a bit of a disadvantage for Queenstown there, yep. having to travel week in, week out, so... Yeah, the full credit to them, they still field a team. They still do it. The uh, the interesting thing in with the uh, Kate Shepard Cup, though, the draw's already been done, and both Dunedin teams have drawn Christchurch teams for home games, as the University of Otago will take on Coastal Spirit, oh, who cross. would be one of the more favoured teams for the competition. Yeah, for sure. And Dunedin Tech have drawn the Universities of Christchurch. So some big matchups coming. Some yeah, first Coastal ones. will be a very interesting game. Like you said, favourites for the tournament. Um, 
arguably tick, uh, you know, up there too, though. Yep, it did pretty well last year, yeah. so anything can happen. Yep. And with a couple of home games, I'm, I'm hoping that we'll get good numbers along to those and support these southern oh, teams. It'd be brilliant too. And I wish both teams the absolute best of luck. Sure, everyone has a connection to someone in those teams. Yes. Oh, shot, shot from, from distance. I believe one of your studs had a connection to a tech player, so um, you know. Unintentional, of course. <laughs> Unintentional, of course. <laughs> was shining a little bit of yellow, and it wasn't the sun, but. <laughs> Um, that's all right. Subbed off soon after. <laughs> My apologies to the we, we needed game. You, we needed <laughs> you to play this week, Joe, so we couldn't afford. Yeah. And of course, in the men's game, some massive matchups as Rosson took on Tech as well in the yes. Chatham Cup. And it went to penalties, where Tom Stevens, who could only get five juggles in our world famous juggling competition, was the hero, saving two penalties at the penalty shootout to take Rosson. To victory. Yeah, that's that was a heart stuffing fifteen minutes. It was <laughs> unreal. <laughs> it took some time. And uh, Green Island would also uh, beat Queenstown, which would uh, which I would see as a little bit of an upset. Green Island being mid table, yep. where Queenstown's right up there. Yep. So. Uh, yeah, Green Island full of upsets this year. What's going on out there? Yeah, so they get a new club rooms, and suddenly they're raring to go. Good on them. So uh, the next round of the cup uh, being drawn as well. And uh, Roslyn uh, taking on Moskul, whilst Green Island take on the surprise package of Grant's Brays. Grant's Brays, they're not done, are they? No. I and mean, I think everyone's sort of looking at them as a, a sniff team, but. But they're, they're still in it. Robbie Mitchell's army be kind of interesting to see them go all the way through. Kit, what a dream run that would be. The breakaway Boy, attack is on out. here. Oh, we better skid there. Numbers behind the ball for Dominion Tick. Good tactical block by the back line. Oh, trying to get it away. What's it going to look like a throw in the, in the Tick half though? What can they do with this? Unless we throw in here. <laughs> oh, well uh, dealt with by Tech. And they got time now in the back line. Joel, I would like to send out a massive thank you to uh, Graham E. Phillip, yep. bringing in some hot chocolates from the local Z Mosgill. Phenomenal place out there. Thank off you very much. Off screen, silent screaming. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Moscow have done well to just sort of get numbers in behind here. They've really tempered them in the last 10 yes. minutes. I say that. Oh, but commentators, because I do not speak again. But they, they have forced, now, just just so that we moment there, they forced Tech to have a shot from range there. So uh, yeah, maybe we ploy by Moscow. Not clambering in the box against each other so hard. Also the arrival of my dog is here, is Boost Pal Phillip. Is uh, doing security around the grounds, <laughs> showing off to all the other dogs that are on leashes. Goal kick here. Mosgill sort of crowding the area. They sort of know where the drop zone's going to be. Oh, tries to play it out. Wide. Oh, but unfortunate there. Still got it though. Can he muscle him? Oh, that one's gone out. That was good pressure by Tech. Good bit of honesty there. Yeah, Hawker happy to uh, yeah. play the ball over. Noticing that they've all got their names on the back of their shirts there, does Deneen Tech. Might have to break the vivid out this afternoon. <laughs> Put the name on the back of my shirt. Do you think they've I'd chosen their numbers too? I wouldn't be surprised. You love the classic number nine, don't you, Joe? Oh, man. Faux par and a half, though. Turning up to Ros and Prems and trying to claim number nine with Alex <laughs> and the team. <laughs> Yeah, that ain't oh. never happening. It's like trying to get number seven off bacon. Ran with tail between my legs. <laughs> oh, we break here. Oh, oh he's got a shot away. Oh, keeper puts it for a corner. But now you're known as the famous number two. 
Number so two for Prem, still number nine for the race. So <laughs> but yeah, number two for Prem's because it's the only shirt that fits me. <laughs> the smallest uh, shirt in the pack. It is. It says, if we knew one day you would arrive. Cheryl was telling me it's because you tried them all on for sizing, got them sent away. We are meant to get new ones, but they just printed on the ones that you tried on for sizing. <laughs> number two came back, they said, what have you done this for? You weren't meant to print on this one. <laughs> Right, it's got use now. Oh, what a delivery! Off the noggin! Oh, fall of the feet! Keeper! Look at that, playing out from the back, I love it. Nudges it up the field. Man, Tech have just had a couple of opportunities in the box there that it's just gone, gone waiting. Tech getting that back line up. Yeah, resetting though. Give it a reset and play it back. For more options. Play it out there. They're looking around. They know where they are before they even pass it. Yeah, credit to Tig there. They're using space really well. Mosco not putting too much pressure on. Probably wise in the first half. You're mm. tucking yourself out. It's a good sign for the uh, future of the Dunedin Tech Football Club there. And for the aspirations of these young players. But Mosgill are notorious for causing upsets. That's true, that's true. Mosgill just never want to back down. Just the other week, they defeated Southland in the men's premier division 4-0. Probably the biggest upset of all the games in the Premier League, I would like to say. Uh, yeah, arguably so, arguably huh? so. And some deep roots here in, here in Mosgill, the Plainsman, very proud and strong yes. team. Uh, some famous names out here in the years past. Definitely. The McGarrys, the Day family. So, uh, you can go on and on. Yep. And it's great to see every club has them. I suppose but now it's uh, becoming the Whitsons too. The, the Whitsons, yes. Yeah. The Whitsons, the Hicks, maybe. Yes, yes, definitely. <laughs> Especially in that women's team. Becky Stallion for me. Little wave. We jibe here. It's fallen to tip it backwards. Oh, Look at this. Kitty, get me under me. Oh. oh, he's got big strides, this boy. Yes, he's oh, well oh. tracked, though. Good shoulder to shoulder. I think defenders done very well there. Look at the numbers you've got. Plays it to the pocket. Yeah, wise play there. But how about this round of the men's premier division today? Some of the biggest matches you can imagine. The Southern Premier League is up for grabs. South Island League uh, spots, top three spots up for grabs. Dunedin Tech's so, well, they, they've punched their ticket pretty much. It would yep. take a miracle if they weren't. And there's two other spots up for grabs. And in contention, four, possibly five teams if there is miracles. We've got probably the biggest clash of them all, Cavisham versus Tech. Tech top of the table, Cavisham second. Yep. Cavisham notorious over the years. And they had a, sh sh a shocking start to the league. Uh, losing to uh, Southland, but could, with a victory today, it would cement their spot. Whilst Queenstown and Southland go head to head, and they both need a victory to really get that spot on grabs. Should there be a draw, it's all on. Yep. Whilst Rosland take on what I would say the little bit of an underdogs in Green Island. Rosland once again shaky throughout the mid season. Um, some calls not going their way, and it may have cost them this season, but they've got that wee lifeline now. Yeah. As they, uh, they also need a win. And so lastly, Otago University versus Northern for <laughs> at Forrester. Now, I say that all them games are big. That game there, basically, whoever loses that game will be dead last. Yeah, it's not no been a good season so far for Northern. They've played seven, and unfortunately they've lost seven. So and they'll also be without their coach. The famous Louise, uh, after being sent off from the sideline last week, 
shown a red card. So yep. anything's Just possible. Just a wee warning out there to the coaches. That does happen. Uh, yes, uh, it's a, uh, a new thing this season. The cards can be shown. To you then. Thankfully, I have not seen yellow this season so far. <laughs> You've been quiet, coach, actually, Hamish. Thank I'll, <laughs> I'll grant you. <laughs> Thank you. Who would believe it when I have a mic in my hand? <laughs> you save all your talking for the morning and then <laughs> come afternoon you tuck it out. Trust me, the years before, I, I definitely were, was not like that. I thought, you know, head coach role, I better, better behave myself now. I'm always one to criticise a referee as well. Which is a good thing. I'm not a coach. <laughs> I reckon you'd be a good coach there, Joe. Oh, and again from Tech, and they just can't seem to get anything on it. Corners are good, good size, good range. Falling into that that danger zone. Once again, I wonder if they know, um, having it's pretty hard to find a pitch this size to train on for such corners. As you say, deliveries are good, but mm. Mosgill more used to this size field. Yeah, possibly so. It's pretty handy being able to train on the field you want to play on. Um, what a run. Oh, yeah. well cut out. Read like a book. Read like a magical, legendary, hard to find, but totally worth the effort, second hand book, which you can purchase on 20 Downing Street. Of course, one of our. <laughs> seamless. <laughs> seamless. No, yep. some of them have seams. Some of the books do have seams. That's true. Hard cover. A little bit of binding. Oh, well read there from that tech player. Just saw that coming a little bit. Look at the space tech have back here. Now I just want to point out over the far side there, we see the Mosgill coach in the blue jacket standing alongside a guy in a white top. That is my old man, obviously giving advice to the Mosgill coach. <laughs> yep. uh, trying to help him out over there. With Tech having a three goal lead here. Yep, well right cleared there. Big old hoof. Oh. The big slide. And of course, we can't forget about our other sponsor uh, Oakley's Bathroom and Plumbing Centre. Uh, amazing bunch of lads there, year in and year out. They're out here bringing you the best in local football and it's an absolute privilege to be able to bring you this each and every Saturday morning. Yep, no frozen pipes this morning. No, but I can tell you what, the temperature is low, <laughs> but as always the ratings are high here on Oakley's Off The Bar. As I can tell by just so the people at home seeing your mittens there, Joe. Yeah, it's a, it is a mitten morning. I've, I've, I've dug them out of the closet and I've decided that these are going to make an appearance every Saturday. <laughs> I've had a couple of Saturdays where I've gone, this is bitterly cold and I've made a grave mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting all the advice from uh, John at New World about wearing a jacket. He even offered to lend me his jacket because of how cold I was saying it was. Uh, good old John boy, New World. We'll have him on here doing that juggling competition in no time. Wide pass, looking forward now. I'm, I'm just loving the space that they create. There's so much space in the yes. midfield there for Tech. Got time on the ball. Ooh, oh, a cheeky wee. Oh, can he finish? Oh, oh push just wide. So close. Beautiful passing game there. That's a great wee cheeky wee flick on. I like to see that. What I call the miracle ball. Johnny comes off 25% of the time. <laughs> We've seen him try to play out short before. He tries to go up the guts here. It was a nice wee tee up there, wasn't it? Oh, they flood the numbers forward. Mosgill happy to just get in behind it. So we overlapping run there from yes. fullback. So Good toe in there by Mosgill. Very vital. A little bit stuck here. Late call from man on. Wondering if uh, might be wise for Moscow to push a high a little bit, see if we can catch them offside. Just seem to be floating yeah. back there. 
Referee is watching that offside line as well. He's he's right up there. It's good to see referee moving around at this division. Not just a parent going to stand in the centre. As they sit very deep right now. Mm. Very deep. I just want to point out a, uh, a wee sporting superstar I see on the sideline here. Craig Cummings. One of Otago's all-time great cricketers. Standing on the sideline. Could possibly play out there. Suspect so. Not unusual. Drive through, cuts back. All oh. the way outside. Outside of the left. What a goal. Oh. Cheeky wee toe poking in the back of the net. Yes, it finds the old onion bag. 4-0. Boomer's having a wee joke on the sideline there. As Mrs. Boomer is also wearing her mittens. You've started a wee trend here, Joe. Mittens are where it's at, I'm telling you. Gone on the day of gloves. Mittens, as brought to you by Oakley's Off the Bar. <laughs> I'm telling you, mittens get your hands warmer. Gloves just separate your fingers. <laughs> Isolating hey, them. As I roll. being ice. <laughs> As I rock my $2 pair of gloves. Good old happy coins. Yeah, cool there from Mosgiel as to who's on it. He did have space to run there. Having trouble oh. clearing it. Oh, the old no-touch turn. Someone check his ankles. I think they broke. Oh, had that ball found its way through. Yeah, take a reading these through balls. Credit to them. Yes. At least Mosgiel are trying to break away on the tap. They're not just going to kick it up the field. Oh, what drive. That young fella has proven vital. Oh, we deflection there. Should find ourselves a corner. Can Tech do anything with this? What would you be looking to do here, Hamish? Oh, oh, well, you, you found that, you know, Mosgill have been able to adapt quite well with this. Could we possibly see a short corner? Yeah, possibly. Then deliver back in. Maybe get a better angle for yourself because Tech have proven vital in uh, driving the ball in. So why not resort back to that? One arm up. Oh, that's a great, great delivery. Legs. Again, though, doesn't really find any feet. It's a drive. I've been also uh, just seen one of uh, Mosgill's all-time great players sitting up here in the grandstand, supporting his local club. The uh, the hard man of the team, Jesse Wright. Uh, otherwise no, also known as a drunk man most of the time, but we don't worry about <laughs> that. A very hard man of football. That's, very just, that's just Otago for you, yeah, isn't it? Very loyal to whoever he plays for. And um, Great lad on uh, off the field. On the field, you just hope that you're on his side. Yep. We just play for some people than against. Mm. But, uh, it's good to see him out here supporting his club. And... Uh, Showing what the uh, juniors uh, are coming up and doing. I love when the uh, the senior players give back to the youth. Yeah, bit of a paying it forward type scenario, really, isn't it? We've talked previously about um, a few coaches from the, uh, a few players from the prem team coaching now at Roslyn, and yes, it's uh, you, you kind of think about all the support you were given as a kid growing up yep. and uh, how much coaching and time went into your development as a player and uh, it's really good to see players given that back. And it, it's what makes you fall in love with football. And we've found ourselves at half time here. Tick a 4-0 up. Can Mosgill pull it back? Stay tuned. Half time here, 4-0. Hamish, that's on. Well, what a game we've seen from Deneen Tick. Mosgill have got that breakaway attack possible, but Tick just being absolutely critical. What do you think the final score could be here, Joe? It's got to be more. To be honest, from what we've seen, Tech are just playing so well, so clinically. Wouldn't be surprised to see more goals. Yep, so the only way to find out is to stay tuned. Sure. Oh. And we 
here with our first goal. Drives, drives. The goal. Oakley's is a name that's become synonymous with bathroom excellence. For over 140 years, the team at Oakley's has provided the highest quality bathroom products, plumbing supplies, intelligent advice, and smart service. This commitment continues with Oakley's new era in showroom innovation. With new products such as the Aurajet, the most advanced and invigorating shower experience ever. Come in and visit the team at 46 Timaru Street. Call us on 466-3600 or visit us online. From rare to the recent, visit the legendary hard to find for your quality secondhand books. With the largest stock in New Zealand and a friendly book loving atmosphere. For good prices, buying or selling, come visit 20 Dowling Street. Oakley's proud to support the broadcast the whole off the bar. And proud to support Needham Junior Football. Clinical half from Keck. We'll see what they can produce this half. Four goal lead. Playing some phenomenal football. Mosgill have proven that they have a good counter attack. High press from Moscow this half. And uh, Tech's in their own box. Got it on them. I love that their coach has obviously said something to them. Got a change of tactics. Some of these get that away. Look how we tight. turn. They're getting in tight here. Oh, it's a race. Oh, who's going to win this race? Oh, a bit of. Oh, miss. keeper! Can he clear it? Oh, unlucky. Well done by Janine Tech. Takes the score to 5 0, probably the best goal of the match there. Even with the mus miscommunication from T, there's two boys going for one ball. <laughs> Bit goal hungry. Well, I hope Moscow the, uh, keep the tactics for staying in on tight on them. Yeah, it worked well, it just was a bit of an unfortunate breakthrough. Here we go again. Could we ball there? Yeah, try to play the piercing ball right away. Try and catch them off guard. They've got to try these things, Mosgill. They're five goals down. Starting to lose at this stage, really, is there? You get a goal here, you know. You might just rattle them in and up. Oh, it's time at the top of the box there. Kind of lost sight of where the goal was, though. Bigger run up then uh, the first half here. It's the goalkeeper from Moscow. Yep. It's a good wee oh. kick though. Had a wee Down skip. That field. reminds me of a young Morgan Whitsip. Must be a Moscow thing. Hop, skip it a jump. Oh, what a ball! Pushed just wide. Great work there from T. I really like to see the players attacking those sort of through balls, really throwing everything at it. Nothing worse than seeing it go skidding by right in front of your feet. Look at that. Come on, a short kick. ball. Quick uh, goal kick there. Obviously, uh, some clear instructions by the Mosgill coach. Just a little bit of a hack there from Mosgill, and it's only found the tech back line. Oh, great control. That's calls for it. Stands him up. Well done by the fullback there. Yep, Held him up. Track. Didn't let him drive in. As uh, Tech have been wanting to do most of this game. Forced across. Yes, he's given away a corner. But hey, better than him getting inside that box. And to be honest, Mothiel have been dealing really well with corners. So definitely preferable. See if Mothiel can clear it again. There we go, look, the pressure's on them. There One thing go. I would like to see Mosgill do though, because of how high 
First off, the keeper is over halfway here on corners because Mosgill haven't left a person up top. Should they leave a person up top, will that completely change the tech formation? Mm. Just put, put, some, put somebody up there, see what happens. If it doesn't change too much, then you can always resort back. And honestly, not having someone up front means when you do clear your corner, you've got no one to release to. Yeah, you're literally going to have to run it from your own half. Yeah. Tick again driving oh, forward. All this time and space, and I'm not talking about Doctor Who here. Tick have found the TARDIS and they're going for a joyride today. Oh, that tech boy's done very well to keep the ball there. A few swinging legs. He's asking the referee for a foul, but no, that's good physicality by the uh, the Mosgul lad there. Yeah, it's all shoulder to shoulder. Oh, can he keep that in? I remember as a child coming out here watching the old man play uh, back in his cabbie days. Used to love going over to the skate ramps over there, you know, running up and down. Oh, yeah. 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 Still get a lot of... Uh, Scooter Kids on Wednesday nights. Yes, and a, uh, the playground out the back. Nothing beat that. Quite a good big playground. Quite a family friendly environment out here at Memorial. Very much so. That's a great environment out here. Probably the friendliest club I've ever played for. And I'm even at Roslyn. <laughs> other, than, other than Roslyn? <laughs> no, even, I would say even so. It's such a family orientated environment. So you feel like any parent can tell off anyone's child. <laughs> oh, a classic Kiwi club. How about that? Yeah, there you go. There we go. We found the new name for Mosgill, the classic Kiwi club. Oh, he's got something to release to this time. Here we go. Keepers up. Oh, what a ball. Oh, he oh. takes the shot from distance. But at least he's pressing. Oh, what a touch. To be honest, oh. I would have gone from long there too. Keeper was yep. so far out. You hit that right, you know, that's suddenly in the goal. Yep. Dogs there, shying away from the sideline. Yes. Oh, it's a great that's cross. That's a delivery, that's a delivery and a half. It's in the mixer. Takes a touch. Can he finish? Yes, he can. What a goal there from Tech. That takes was clinical it. stuff. Takes it to six. Now I can count that on my gloves. Unlike your mittens there, Joe. Sure, I've got my pen. I've got my stats, facts and chats. As always, here on Oakley Off The Bar. And it's awesome to see the little kicks program out here at Mosgill. Brilliant that yep. uh, the clubs are really getting into it. But Mosgill, massive numbers each and every time we come out here. Um, I believe the game they play a lot is uh, Pirates. Swap the deck and uh, you know, it's all about ball control. And it's a great initiative by the club to... Uh, have senior players and coaches get involved with it so they everybody use so I'm just watching the coach <laughs> get all the cones stacked on his head by the little ones. Yeah. Not only that, but each and every one of those little kids get their own football. So they can go home, they can kick it round. So um, and all the parents get on board, which is brilliant. So uh, good stuff to the Mosgill Club. It's a great wee initiative to have here on a Saturday morning too because often, you know, they've got older brothers and sisters playing anyway. Yep. If you can chuck them down in the corner you know, entertaining themselves doing the same thing. They certainly feel involved and yeah, they feel a part of it. Feel like they've got something to aspire to as well. So great stuff. And uh, a number of clubs really getting on board. I know Grants Braze for a number of years have done it as well and uh being a massive junior club along with Roslyn, so some of these bigger clubs. Apologies if I've left any clubs out, just the ones that we've seen here going round on uh, Oakleys. Yep. Um, sure there's more out there. We're not there's leaving you out intentionally. Yes. It's great to see such programs. And, uh, a lot of that also has to come with the support from Football South as well. They've been helping out along the times mm -hmm. with all their little skill centres. Yep. Lots of communication from Football South. It's been good. Oh, the old uh, scorpion kick there. Roy oh. made it through there. Oh, a little step over. Shot from distance. Slow and hard. We're going to find ourselves a corner. Mosby will be happy again with this. Now. Again, they've not 
Oh, the, we got one left up top. No, he seems to be coming in. And so we see the keeper again. Is uh, he's actually up at the centre circle. Now, what I'd see happening should it like in an ideal world should they keep one up top. The two defenders would drop off, maybe one lingers edge of the circle, but it frees up a sort of a hole in there that should the ball come out, do you have a little space to drive? Oh, that's gone straight over the top of everyone there. Yes. They've got numbers out in the back. A dog sitting on the field just there as well, wanting to be a part of this game. It's not looking the right way for that. But um, it's good to see the dogs out here again. Always wonderful. You've got yourself a little puppy, don't you there, Joe? Oh, yep. Menace, <laughs> did you say? A menace, a wee menace. <laughs> oh, here we go from Muslim. Here we go. Cut it back across. Oh, what a touch. Oh, that's a fantastic retouch. Nobody's up there to support. Brilliant defending there by Dunedin Tech. Yeah, that was great there from, he might be from happy that Tech player. Oh, what triangles. That was a and great the, touch from the Mosgiel player. And, and the famous words of James Blunt and Elmo, you're a triangle, it's true. Brilliant play by Dineen Tech there. Oh, look at this. Now the attack's on. Transition. He's found himself a little bit stuck. Needs someone to release to. That Mosgiel player's just pushed him off a little bit. Yeah, gets the toe in. Sometimes that's all you need. Shot from range. Oh, the follow-up. He scores! There's great follow up there from Tech. Takes that to seven. with a sub. Yes. Now it's a game of can Mosgill pull one back? Can they score the goal on Memorial? Yeah, what do you change? Can you get one back? I must say Tech are really good at putting numbers forward. So it, it'd be a little bit silly to change your back line at the minute. Yeah. Because they have been doing an incredible job. Yes, the score line sits at seven. But each one of them defenders playing with such passion here today. They're trying their hardest. Oh, well held, keeper. Good hands there. Could you could you offer another one forward? Yeah, we've talked about releasing one forward, but do you think releasing just one would be enough at this oh, stage? Well, Tech's defence have proven vital. Yeah. So it is, no matter what, it's going to be hard to break down. There's not much more you can really do other than hope the lads really uh, giddy up and go for it. Calls to switch. We've got numbers forward. It's gone straight across the ground. It's not a bad ball. Oh. Onto the left foot. Ooh, just wide. Now that's also goal kick. Couple of players from Tech here on the sideline. A little bit mud covered. Means I've been doing a lot of work. Parents will love doing the old uh, laundry. Yeah, I've got to say, white shorts for a team seems counterintuitive. Yeah. <laughs> looks good as a uniform, but I'm sure there's a lot of parents out clean. there that don't good. appreciate it. Yeah. I know uh, last Saturday, the, the Rosalind Carey Premier woman rocked the red strip with white shorts. Looking a bit cabby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who? What? Oh, I didn't through here. I mean, for that to happen. The, um, Drag back. Not to anything, back though. Get out of the because this ball is in the mixer here. Shot from Rage coming up. Just why? The uh, the girls all gave me the look and gave Cheryl the look. Oh, what are these white shorts? What's going on here? Yep, of course they needed the white strip for the Monday morning, uh, Monday afternoon game. The Cape Shepherd Cup. So yeah, the red and white was donned yep. on a Saturday against Green Island. I, I think there's a few raised eyebrows from Green Island as well going, yep. it's not like we're wearing white, why are you wearing red? So, um, yeah. 
it was a very much a traffic light situation. I'm pretty sure the referee was rock, rock and yellow. Yeah. So, um, Kiva was wearing yellow too, I believe. Yeah. Prune Island. Old Sammy. And Alex was seeing yellow. Alex was seeing yellow, <laughs> yeah. So it was Steph Lee. <laughs> Goodness. Very intense game out there. It was a good result from you guys though, wasn't it? Yes, uh, one all at the half. Um, we knew that we could have been better and uh, we ended up, and the girls really did giddy up, you know, created space and we came away with a 5-1 victory. Yeah, credit to Green Island though, I've got to oh. say, I was there for the first half and first 20 minutes they were all over you. There's a yep. lot of panic voices in the Roslyn team. But they were. They I, was, I was very much pleasantly surprised to hear the, the result. The, um, Green Island have been notorious for taking it to you. And I think that's going to be their major strength in the years to come. A, a team that just takes it to you. And how young they really are. What a ball. Wow. Great defending. Caesar for a corner. You would almost put that on a silver platter there. Yeah, that um, was perfect there from so Tech. Uh, I look forward to seeing how that Green Island team developed over the years. But yes, they did take it to us. But, uh, Abby found the goal. And she, she reminded me on the uh, Tuesday when I refereed her school game <laughs> how she uh, chipped our keeper. Oh dear. But very That's modest young lady. She's, um, <laughs> with some good young players in there. All Pete Blair had the, uh, the privilege of coaching a lot of them from the uh, under 17 Otago team. As Talia, Talia's mum said, apparently I coached them too well. <laughs> but no, credit to uh, Sam and Nick out there at Green Island. Doing a great job with them. Oh, watch the bounce. Oh, big hands in the back there, ref. Yeah, he's going for another corner. Yep. Rosie will pretty, probably be a bit safe about this. Feeling a bit safe. Tech still have not quite converted from a corner, so we'll see if that might change, but. No doubt it'll be a coachy point during the week from uh, Joe Cole. Worked alongside Joe Cole at the uh, Level 2 Senior Coaching Course out here at Memorial last year. Oh, that's a great nudge up in the air. <gasps> and it's found and the back of go. the onion bag. Someone got something to it. Takes it to eight. Magnificent eight. Yes, uh, Joe and I have got to work alongside each other. And uh, some of the top coaches from New Zealand, such as Steve Dillon, uh, working out here, becoming better coaches over a, week, a week's program. Just the other week, I did a video assessment for the uh, assessment. So, uh, in the weeks to come, hopefully, once I do paperwork, which is not my strong point. <laughs> you know. Who, whose is that strong yeah. point? Who's actually doing paperwork? I, I sort of actually need a laptop to uh, be able to fill in the paperwork, so that's not good. Oh, he's head up, ball at his feet. Good sign. There you go. And I love the attitude of the Deneen Tech lads here. You know, that they're still wanting to play football. They're not becoming greedy footballers. They know that their reward is playing good football. Yep, certainly happy to keep passing it. That delivery, keeper should have that one. Yeah, well held. And beautiful KA gloves out there. And of course, we wouldn't be able to bring you this amazing show without our incredible sponsors. Of course, we've got the legendary, hard to find, but totally worth the effort, second hand bookshop. Go see the wizard. He'll help you out with a great book down there on 20 Dowling Street. And of course, we've got Oakley's Bathroom and Plumbing Centre. For years and years, they've been here bringing you off the bar. Whoa, Still straight back here. into the centre of the box there. Yeah, risky move. Tech look wide now. Look to set up again. Into the mixer again. We touched it. Notice that a lot of the shots are going low and hard here for Tech. Yeah. Man, Moscow really struggling to clear it out despite having the numbers in there. Another corner. Uh, good numbers here watching the game here today as well. A couple of games going over on the far side. Uh, I see a Mosgill versus Melchester Rovers sitting up over there. And over the far, far side, Mosgill taking it on Pirawicka. Another tactical substitution here. Might call to go short here. Yep, call is short. Come something a bit different. This is what I asked for before. This is Changes up the angle. Base now. Shots on. Ooh, it's over the bar. The cheap mid Canterbury ripoff show. <laughs> mid Canterbury this week. Yep. Slowly going up the country. 
That's the only thing going up there. Definitely not their ratings. Unlike ours, the number one football show in the produced by the South Island. Helps that we're the only football show produced in the South Island. Eh, it's so important. Best. We but are the best. C could we possibly be the best football show on Freeview TV? That's hate, a good question. Hate to brag, but I rate it number one. Oh, he's kept it in there. Gillette Soccer said day. Who? It's more like Oakley's off the bar to me. Space in the midfield here. Now, we have a massive event coming up shortly, Joe. The FIFA World Cup. Yeah, we do. Now, we've we had a bit of time to think about it. We chatted about it last week, about who we potentially could see winning. Now, who could you potentially see taking that cover of the trophy? Now, I've had a good think about Ooh, this. I've done, I've done my research, okay? Yes. I've looked at the top-ranked teams, the form going in, the player style, the playing style of the teams. Yes. And to be honest, I'm not sure. I still don't know. <laughs> I've narrowed it down to three teams. I think Spain's going to have a good nudge. Yes. I think Germany's obviously going to have a good nudge. They've always been a strong oh, team. Pull it over himself. Offside there. Oh, right? So we'll get back to that in a second. Yeah, he's still got the ball at his feet, though. I don't know how. The tee up. He's going to take another touch. He a looks to switch. And met by a Mosgiel player. Yes. So get a bit, you've narrowed it down to three teams. Spain, Germany. Spain, Germany have a good nudge. France are favourites going in by yes. a, quite a few uh, Paying football. Paying 6.50 on TAB. Yeah, yeah. Football sides are pretty pretty confident in France. Can we see something here from Tech? Back to Not this. Oh, oh, and he's found he's the found inside the of the post. Again. We've gone to nine. It's pretty clinical there from Tech. Yeah, so Spain, so Germany. Germany obviously very clinical. Yeah. Pretty reminiscent of this uh, tech, 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 tech side of this yeah. stage. Oh. I obviously, I think I'm going to support Brazil in this World Cup. Now, oh. hear me out here. Okay, okay. Prone to choke. We yes. won't talk about the loss to Germany last, <laughs> last time, 7-1. It was a bit of an embarrassment. But this year, last last World Cup, I think it was Neymar's World Cup. It was yes. sort of all riding on him. But he's, the back he's, Yeah, for sure. It was it was um, on every headline in Brazilian papers. But this this World Cup, I think, with Coutinho and Fabinho in the middle with them, I think that's a really strong attacking three. And it's football. It's a football style that they all really love playing. So. I think that could be a really interesting team to watch this World Cup. Oh, we oh, found it for the tenth time by Dunedin Tech. Bounced there. over. <laughs> Mosgill running out of gas here. Tech got plenty left in. Yep. Tech not giving so up yet. Brazil. Brazil's going to be your team then, is it? I'm going to follow Brazil. I don't yes. think they'll win, but I would love it if they did. If, if you had to choose <laughs> one team, an outright winner, here on Oakley's off the bar for the FIFA World Cup. Who are you picking there, Joe? <sighs> Do you know, I'll be honest. And as much as I am... And it can't be Liverpool. As much as I'm not a fan of Sergio Ramos, we won't say why, <laughs> um, <laughs> I think Spain could take this one out. All right. Well, I too have sort of seen three teams that I think... Now, first off, I've got Spain as well. I, I, I've always been a massive fan of Spain. Ever since they actually mm. won the Cup... I selected them. I thought, you know, David yeah. Silva, the most underrated player in all of football. Now, <laughs> it's ever, a bit cool. the magician. <laughs> now, and also Man City loyalists. Loyalists. Yeah. Uh, now, Spain being one of them. Now, the other two teams, you know, maybe not his favourite, Uruguay. Now, yeah, I can they see could that. bite their way to that World Cup. <laughs> now, as far as, you know, that whole team is. You know, you, you only ever hear of Suarez within the team. Yeah. But they have a formidable team, and they are just solid all round. Last time, they should prove that, hey, you know, we can hang with the big boys. Yeah. The other team is Belgium. I agree. Yeah. I, I love a bit of ham and chicken, but Belgium is where it's going to be. I think them two are going to be the surprise packages this year. They're going to progress further. And if I had to choose one team, though, I would stick with Uruguay. I think Uruguay are going to go... You think it's going to be Uruguay? Yes. Well, they're not strangers to winning World Cups. They won the yes. first ever World Cup. Yes. So they're paying 36s. So if I, after the FIFA World Cup, if I come in smiling and yep. you know Uruguay's won, you know, I put a bit of, bit of my Oakley's off of the bar money on the... Uh, little cheeky tenor, will it be? <laughs> cheeky tenor. 
Yeah, fair enough. Oh, I might check a cheeky tenner on Brazil. I think it's yep. a long shot, but it would be good to see. And Uruguay, I think that's not a bad shout too. They are yep. ranked in the top eight. They are favourites yes. for their pool. So um, other favourites for their pools are uh, Colombia. Oh. Colombia's, you know, that's one to watch. They know how to play football. These South American teams, are they've got a great style. They're very fast, very fluid. It's Sometimes it's going to be very hard to control. Now we've seen a great delivery last time. What will he do? Oh, a short one! Gotta be careful playing it into him. Is he yeah, offside? Off. Yeah, he is, yep. Yep. <coughs> Delivers in. Mosgill getting bodies in behind it. It's met by a tech player though. Now and at speed. Here's one for you. The old man, yesterday, he comes to me and he goes, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna back Peru. 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 They're oh, only known for choice. their flutes. That's a choice and a half. <laughs> now I then enlighten them that, you know, they didn't actually automatically qualify. They had to beat the powerhouse of football, New Zealand, to actually progress. Flutes and llamas. <laughs> oh, llamas, I do forget. Is it alpacas? Um, I can't now, tell the difference. I see, if, if Peru win it, they have put some freaky, you know, curse on them, like they did the New Zealand team. But, oh, uh, yes. He, he oh. soon changed his mind, and he actually went for Colombia. He, he's going Colombia. Yeah. So uh, he had a good look into it. But, um,. I've got a question for you. Look yes. up, still, England. Will they make it out of pool do, stage? Do you know what's going to happen? I'm going to put a tea bag into a cup, and that tea bag will be in the cup longer than England. <laughs> England have as much oh. chance as Liverpool as oh, winning cool. the FIFA World Cup. All right? I tell yeah. you what. If Scotland progressed, I'd be putting all my, I'd be putting my house and everything on Ali's army. I'd be going Scotland all the way, but they didn't qualify. So yeah, England kind of a little bit got a reputation for not doing so well at World Cups. He, he, I'll, I'll say it now. Should cup. England win the World Cup? No, I'm lucky there from that Moscow player. I will eat my Charmander hat. That's, you've got to eat some of it. You, will you eat the pom-pom if they win? I will win? eat the pom-pom on Oakley's off the bar. That is a, oh it might goodness. even shut me up when I'm doing commentary, <laughs> which everybody at home would love. Could we cut? But getting back to this game, what a phenomenal game. And no doubt all of these lads will be uh, looking forward to the FIFA World Cup and the great football that it progresses. Who knows? Some of these lads could possibly be in a World Cup. We've got one down. You're seeing down the line. future f uh, all whites out here today, possibly. We've possibly seen some future football ferns. Not, not uh, the woman whites, as the <laughs> advertisement said. Oh my goodness. Oh, here we go. This young fella has proven dangerous for Mosgiel, but he's just lost the ball there. That touch that he had early on, probably the touch of the game. Yeah. Run yeah. through, we are outside of the heel. Oh. Yeah, flicked it from behind him. You can't teach that sort of stuff. Yeah, well, red there. Still with tech though, and will that go straight out? No, there is a tech oh. player up there. Give him a 10. That was a great dive. Nah, good, good bit of contact there. Referee was tying his shoelace. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, good old classic move by the referee. I'll pretend to tie the shoelace. It's a good way to take your eyes off. Yes. My excuse was, oh, sorry, someone was in my way. Couldn't quite see it. So if you ever hear me, or if you hear me say that later today, Joe, if I referee you. So there must have been a few people in your way <laughs> on Saturday last <laughs> week, was there? <laughs> No yes, comment. You, you, you were in the walls, weren't you, Joe? Oh, I was clipped at the ankles every time I had the ball. Should have gone it? down more. Maybe you would have paid attention. <laughs> you know, as, as soon as you hit the ground at air guard, you, uh-oh, yeah. here we go. It's been a couple of months and she's getting stroppy. <laughs> I never planned to referee that game. And suddenly, yeah. you know, they didn't turn up to referee the second half. And Yeah, now, to be, to be honest, credit to especially Ben. I don't know how many of our games he's had to ref. Yeah. Um, the whole games, uh, not seeing too many refs coming from being helped out from other teams. I, um, I even got a question: Why am I refereeing women's division one when I should be refereeing men's premier? I said because it's better football. <laughs> <laughs> that joke didn't go down too well with uh, some of the referees. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it was only a joke. 
because you're there to support your players yes, that play for you on the Saturday. And Ooh. I was able to select several players from it to uh, help us out on Monday and for the weeks to come, hopefully. Yeah, basically watching Saturday games for the Roses, basically a selection process uh, for you, isn't it? Uh, really, well, oh, he's dropped there for Moskill. Today. Um, he's got two to beat, though, and he's got no help. A young girl, Grace Blackie, will be making her debut for the Prems. And you, you must admit, this season she has been phenomenal. Oh, well she, deserved. She has stepped up. And, and today, I think she'll prove that she is capable of higher game. So, yep. with, uh, even if she just takes that experience back in. Sport with uh, Crystal at the back there. She's no stranger to Crystal. And Morgan Stevenson stepping into your goal yes, as well. Morgan Stevenson, uh, really doing one for the club today. You, um, Morgan Watson taking a head knock last week. Tessa Nickel having to make her debut for the women's prems and um, at half time. What sentence that is. Yeah. Uh. So then, um, so Morgan Stevenson's uh, happy Come to out of retirement. Yeah, come, pretty, pretty much, you know, like, had a phenomenal pre season with us. Yeah. Was selected within the squad, um, went away from football, now she's coming back into it. So it's, it's brilliant to see, and a big thank you goes out to her. No doubt she'll have a great game today. Yeah, so Grace should feel pretty at home back there. Yep. And, uh, yeah, like you said, she's just gone from strength to strength this year and just it basically a uh, solid backline player at the moment. And I've um, I also seen A little seen bit sad to see her go. <laughs> I know, and I feel bad, you know, sort of stealing them from the rogues. Um, but it just shows the, the commitment of uh, all the girls within the club for the club. So, uh, we must say, missing a few players from both teams oh. this weekend. This weekend, of course, being university exam week. Yes. Uh, yep. So we're both playing university Jeez. teams. So uh, let's hope that they don't cut up. I think the they'll have similar problems <laughs> <laughs> to us. But it's great to see that the teams are coming together to help one another. Yep. Not only that, the connection with the juniors. And what a great juniors game we've seen here today. Take a, taking the victory. Uh, stay tuned for the juggling competition and the interviews, and we'll find out the players of the day. And we have our first goal. Drives, drives. A goal. Oakley's is a name that's become synonymous with bathroom excellence. For over 140 years, the team at Oakley's has provided the highest quality bathroom products, plumbing supplies, intelligent advice, and smart service. This commitment continues with Oakley's new era in showroom innovation. With new products such as the AuraJet, the most advanced and invigorating shower experience ever. Come in and visit the team at 46 Timaru Street. Call us on 466-3600 or visit us online. From rare to the recent, visit the legendary hard to find for your quality secondhand books. With the largest stock in New Zealand and a friendly book loving atmosphere. For good prices, buying or selling, come visit 20 Dowling Street. Oakley's proud to support the broadcast of Off The Bar. And proud to support Needham Junior Football. Cool, I'm with the Dunedin Tech coach here, Joe Cole. You must be very impressed with your team with that victory here today. They played really well. The, the pitch was accommodating. <laughs> yeah, it's nice and flat, and the boys, yeah, they, they put on a nice performance. Now, we knew coming in that these boys could play football, but like, how much work has it taken to get to this stage? Yeah, there's, um, some of them have been with us for about three years, yep. um, and some two, and some have just come in this year, but um, we train typically three times a week, and you know, they, they put in the hard yards of training. So. Definitely shows top of the table. Now, that will be hard, but were you able to select the player of the day today? Yeah, Jackson is the player of the day. Uh, he's mainly for his uh, one and two touch play. Cool, Jackson, so how did you find it today? Uh, yeah, it was really good. It was really nice playing on flat, flat pitch. Yep, nice big field, isn't it? Your and first touch was unreal, mate, I must say. Usually, like, our pitches are just, like, 
Got a bobble. <laughs> yeah, so a lot of surface, right? Thank you very much for joining us today and well done to Tech on your victory here today. It's full time here, 10 0 Tech with a clinical performance. It's been a great game to watch though. Some phenomenal football by Deneen Tech. Mosgiel had the breakaways, couldn't capitalise, but hey, what a great game of football. Sadly, we couldn't bring the juggling competition or an interview from Mosgiel. They didn't want to partake in it. A bit upset from the result. Tech, well done today great attitude and we'll see you all next week. <laughs>